If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. This is the Morning Swim Show for Friday, May 17th, 2013. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. Joining me shortly in the Finis Monitor is Connor Yeager, the rating two-time NCAA champion and one to watch in a few weeks at the USA Swimming World Championship Trials. Connor was a key component in Michigan's team title at the Men's NCAA Championships, and he joins us now from Ann Arbor. Connor, great to see you. How are you? Hey, uh, good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Great pleasure to have you. So, uh, first off, congratulations on a great NCAA meet, not just individually, but on the team title. I mean, what's, what, what has it been like these past couple of months knowing that that team trophy behind you is, is uh, back in Michigan? Uh, it's, uh, it's really been pretty surreal. Honestly, um, that last night at the meet, like when the last relay had, was finished and we knew that we had won, um, it really like it. At one point, you know, in these past three years that I've been here, it seemed like an unattainable goal. And like to have actually accomplished it and uh, see like everything that everyone had sacrificed along the way to make it happen and see how happy everyone was, you know, once it was a reality. Um, it's really a, a pretty awesome uh, like journey that we have been on. And it's really, uh, it's really been special. What besides, besides your three individual swims and also the 800 free relay, what would you say was the, the key, the, not the, the most memorable moment for you at the NCAAs? Um, it's, without a doubt, it's the 200 medley relay uh, that the guys won and set the record in. I'm still completely blown away by that. Uh, really, just four outrageous splits that they put together all in one race. And, you know, all those guys like really put their whole heart into that race um and, like again it's something like in the beginning of the year you know you're not sure how obtainable that goal is and to see those guys work so hard all year and really focus on the small details that go into a 200 medley uh relay like just everyone's doing a 50 so the small details are so crucial and and just see the focus that they had going into that race um like, I was so excited. That was the night of the, the two free and the eight free relay. And I wish I was racing right after that because my adrenaline was just, like, through the roof watching that. Um, but, yeah, I think everyone on the team and those guys, like, were really just so amped up after that. How much of a break did you get uh, after after the meet? We uh, we came back to Ann Arbor and the foreign uh, – we had some Canadians go straight up to their trials and – um, had two guys make that team, and uh, the rest of us took a week off. We took a week out of the pool to kind of just enjoy the win and refocus um, our energy going into long course season. And uh, I was skeptical going into that week off because I didn't take a week off last year, but we came back and everyone's been training so well and um, really like like uh, just excited to go into every practice like this is the best training I think I've seen in a long course season since I've been here yeah it's probably uh, a lot of the energy is coming off the team win and just kind of carrying that momentum through the summer am I yeah. right yeah yeah it's definitely easy to uh to like come back after a season like we had and uh you know to still be really excited about the sport and uh about training well, you had a great uh, weekend in Charlotte, some great wins that I, I think probably for me that 800 freestyle really stands out to me, just negative splitting it and having the, I guess, the, the confidence. I mean, me being a, a sprint swimmer, I don't know what it takes to be able to hold back on a, you know, the first 400. Tell, take us through the meet and kind of what your expectations were going into it. Yeah. Um... You know, I've been training with Michael Klee all year, and he was in the race right next to me as well. And we saw, I think the record was a 7.58. Um, I'm not positive, but I think it might have been uh, PBK's record. And um, Klee knew that I went eight minutes there last year, and 
he was like, hey, man, the record's 758, so why don't we just get after it? And um, that's kind of like right from the start. Like, I think we kind of, we didn't really hold back all that much the, the first 200. And uh, like you said, um, I guess we ended up negative splitting the race. And um, I guess, yeah, we just, I mean, we just wanted to swim fast. The first race of a meet like that, we're coming out of four hard weeks of training and you don't really know what's going to happen uh, and like what to expect. And we both had a pretty good race and um, I think it kind of, set us up for the rest of the week. It's just amazing still for me to think that you came into Michigan as a 400 IMer, and here you are now one of the best, if not the best miler in the United States. I mean, you, you and you only recently made this switch over, right? Like a year before Olympic trials. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, summer after my freshman year that Mike and I had a conversation and, and we decided that, you know, to fly, <laughs> um, short course yards to fly, it just wasn't going to be the event for me. Uh, just underwater kicking like that, it wasn't really my strength. So I was like, why don't I try the, the mile? Like, I think I could at least score better in that than the two flies. So that was kind of just the start of it. And then in the fall of my sophomore year, I started training with um, the distance, the great distance crew that we already had here. And um, they really, training with them gave me the confidence to really go out and, and race in the in the mile and believe that I could finish the race strong, uh, you know, and I think that's a big part of, uh, big part of really any race, but especially like the 400, 800 and 1500, it's just confidence. Um, so yeah, it's been a short while, but um, I've had some really great guys showing me the way. It's a great group of distance swimmers you have there, Sean Ryan, Ryan Feely. It was great to yeah. see all three of you guys in the mile. It was probably really special for you guys to be able to do that. Tell me what it's like training every day. I mean, do you guys really feel like you have to, to you know, compete against each other, or is it kind of like a working together to kind of make each other better? Oh, yeah. De definitely feel like we're working together to make each other better. Um, and it's kind of strange. Like, we're three guys, and we... We have three very different body types. Like if you've ever seen us next to each other, Feely is like this really big guy. He's like over 200 pounds and Sean is tall and skinny and I'm like somewhere in between. And uh, because of that, we kind of excel at different parts of the season in practice. Um, so like there'll be a part of the year where Feely's really just like taking off and then part of the year where Sean's taking off and then I'll have my turn. So, you know, we're all having our our slum days as well and when that's happening we're all picking each other up and, and kind of you know pushing each other to continue to get better. Do you get ribbed at all on the team of that extra 75 that you did at Olympic trials or is that behind you and behind the team? No I mean, they I never cared like I always thought it was funny that's like so outrageous I can't believe that that happened but uh, I mean if they did make fun of me it was all in good fun and I never take it uh, personal. And it'll come up every now and then, um, but it's not like it's not it's not a big deal at all. A lot of swimmers have some very uh, tough majors, but you probably have one of the toughest. Your mechanical engineering major. How do you fit in some what is to me seems like a very tough and very demanding major with all that time that you have to spend in the pool? Yeah, it is, it definitely is challenging, but. Um, you know, we have a lot of resources here at the university to help the student athletes, I guess, really get the work done and make sure they're understanding what they're doing. And it also, it definitely helps that uh, Sean Ryan is also mechanical engineering with me, as well as uh, one of the sprinters on the team, David Moore. And David is a uh, like, very intelligent guy, and he, he really helps Sean and I um, like understand the material and then like just being with them and going, we like have a lot of the same classes at the same time together and going to class together, trying to figure out homework together. Um, you now it brings us closer because uh, we're spending a lot more time with each other than just in the pool, in the water, but uh, we're also helping each other, you know, prepare for our future too. I would imagine every time you walk into a swim pool, you're seeing angles and shapes and designs and, and all kinds of things like that. No, no, not, not quite. <laughs> well, if, if, what kind of career path do you think you want to take uh, mechanical engineering into? 
You know, I'm not really sure. I, I think I'm just using it right now as uh, as really just getting a, getting a really solid education. And I think that um, I think it could be applied, and, and I can really go a lot of directions with this. And um, I'm lucky that you know, three more semesters of undergraduate coursework, and uh, I've been speaking to a professor about possibly going into some graduate uh, degree courses, but. Um, I have a while left to figure out what I want to do, and I think I'll just keep exploring. Well, it's, it's still a very, very demanding major, and it's a, <clears throat> excuse me, a testament to you that you're able to, to keep up the swimming in the school. It's, it's, it can't be easy sometimes, I would imagine, especially during finals. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Um, well, we're, we're really excited to see what your summer, um, how your summer pans out. I'm sure, just as everybody else, you're excited for World Championship Trials. I imagine you're going to be doing the... Uh, 200, 400, and a mile? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll be swimming those. And um, the 800, I think, is on the last day. They're actually having that at uh, trials. So I guess come come the last day, we'll decide if I'm going to swim it or not, but I, I probably will. And, um, yeah, and I think I, like, was considering swimming the 4IM just to swim it and see how I could do, but... Um, I don't know where that is in the in the timeline of the meet, and just based on what other what other events I might have that day or the next day or something, I might not swim it. Do you do a lot of IM training just to kind of keep from doing freestyle all the time? Yeah, yeah, we definitely do um, a decent amount of IM training, and I actually did a lot of IM training this short course season uh, because I swam in at Big Tens at the Big Ten Championships. So I've done quite a bit of IM, I guess, this past year. Yeah, if anything else, it just keeps your mind from going crazy over doing one yeah. stroke. Yeah, 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 that definitely helps. Well, Connor, congratulations again, not only on your individual accomplishments in NCAAs, but the team title, and we're looking forward to seeing you in, in Indianapolis in a few weeks. Great, yeah, I'm really excited, too, and thank you so much for having me again. All right, we'll see you there. All right, bye-bye. All right, so that was Connor Yeager joining us in the Finis Monitor for today's Morning Swim Show, and that's going to do it for today's show. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.